Hey people, my name is Ben from Apfeldoktor Germany and today we do an iPhone X top bottom swap. Problem on the original board is that we got a short and one we ate IO was a trace, uh, trace damage so um, it is unfixable so we just swap the CPU and the Logic EEPROM on the top layer of the board and we should be back to life again. I just cleaned up the CPU and now do the reball with the new Quan Li A11 Gold stencil. Never did before with uh, this stencil, so it's just uh, first time use. Andy tried one time yesterday and said it's really amazing. Um, for me, it's the first reball with that stencil. So let's have a look. If it works normally, I normally I do this with the um, with the black stencil. Now let's see how it works with the gold stencil. Just have to clean. There is one point of dirt in it. Okay, I give you a ride on the microscope. So you can see what we are doing here. And I hope you can see all. And now we just um, we just do the reboot. Just wait some seconds. Took the paste fresh out of the bottle. It's important that that the paste is not too dry and not too oily. We have to reach the right point. If you get this, you can take the paste right into the stencil and do the reball. So, just have to set up the right way for me hope it works in that way and now just slightly get some paste into the stencil I use PPD 183 to do that rebar you can get the, this paste at Union Repair So, should be fine. Just a wipe to clean up. And then you take some tweezers and your hot air. And now you can start with the reboot. Circle, circle, circle around the whole CPU to heat up the stencil to don't get any bend. And if you are heated up, start at one edge, slowly at one edge, and do a perfect reball. When you see things like that, that one ball won't stick, just get some flux on it and it will. It will stuck then.
for the eyes it's really nice to do this rebore with the gold stencil really works good okay, then just have a look that all the balls melted and connect to the bottom to the pads you see a little bit of dirt hope it's only dirt yes should be and now wait wait until the balls are hardened out and then just take the wipe and clean one time so let's check if all the balls are connected or not or if some sticking still at the stencil no, it should all be fine I see no missing balls okay have a look at the stencil here is only some flux so that's fine clean the stencil then clean one time the CPU just to get safe that we have no no solder between any points no loose solder and when we do reflow we get connection between some pads we don't want so that is looking good just take some air we got air compressor here then check again if you see any connections between any points you don't see you can take some flux the hot air and then you see when I do the reflow the balls all go to the right position they get round and that's really nice Okay, we are done, just wait until the balls cool down and then we can solder down the CPU. Under the microscope the CPU seems to be a little bit ugly because of this black clue between the pads. I clean them. Oh, I, I clean the A11 always in this way. A little bit of this black clue. You see anymore? Uh, you see after the after the cleaning. But all the pads are safe, and it's only the bottom. Here I lost some. Um, I lost some um, some of the surface, but. No, just a little. I just covered it with UE. Okay, so the reboot is perfect. The CPU looks great. So we can take a picture, and after that, we can solder down the CPU to the board and check if all works. Andy, what's what's up? All easy. David has a uh, holiday, so we are alone at the moment and it's really hard for us. First day.
so I hope all is fine. Well, I, <laughs> I know all is fine, but I've forgotten something. You see, we have to clean up the pads for soldering down later the top board to the bottom board. Here, the connection points between the board halves we didn't clean. Check if the top board is okay. After you um, desoldered the CPU, cleaned all the pads, had a look if all the components are on the right point, you have to check on the DC power supply if the values are okay. That is something you need to do every time when you do a swap, so you know you are fine, you are okay. <coughs> Andy, can I help you? So just clean the pads. Do a clean job, always do a clean job. Remember, as cleaner as you work, as better as the resonant. That is something you could you should always remember. Always do a clean job. So if somebody other sees your work after your repair, he will say the technician who fixed this phone did a good job. And that is what we want. Happy customer and clean wool. And it does a in uh, Samsung, I think, yes? Mm -hmm. Is that a short or what is what yep. has happened? Okay. Already located? Mm, no, it's only 50 milliamps. 50 milliamps, okay. Many people say that the Samsungs or the, or the Huawei's don't have as many board problems as the Apple devices, but that's not right. We see them board problems on all the phones every day. So it isn't right to say it's only no. Apple. The problem is you don't have that much information. That's right, Andy, Andy says you don't have that much information as you got it for the Apple devices and that's the thing. Okay, when you got the half cleaned, you can clean up the board one more time. Check if you see any balls or any any potential shorts like that here. Just a solder ball. So get them out, because we don't need them. Okay. And after we've done this, we just take a clean room wipe, press lightly, and we get a clean job, a clean board. Okay, let's check the CPU, place for the CPU on the board, all is clean, all pads are okay, nothing which could make any problems, and when we see it in that way, I think it should be fine, we just check one time at the DC power supply, 
we got the right value for swapping. We got no short. We got about 5 milliamps. That's okay. So we can solder down the CPU to the board. Okay, so let's have a look just one more time for the A1 pad. I always control it, control it again and again. Here we got our power IC, so this is the direction, and here we got A1. So it's great. Clean up the CPU on the top side so we can see the point. Yeah. Should be installed in that way. You see? That's the way the CPU needs to be placed. So now, just control one more time if the CPU is clean. If we got no dirt, here we got a little point of dirt. We don't need that. Okay, get it away. Looks nice. So, check the board again. The board is nice. And then, take your hot air. Set it up to the right temperature. Set up the airflow. Heat up the board. And what I do now is just to check if all the pads are on one level. That is okay. You can give some flux. Not too much and not too less. Some hot air. Flux should be should get everywhere here. That's okay. Now I just want to do a little to do a little clip. And now you can place the CPU. Place the CPU in the right way. Check if, if it's all good. And if you see, it's fine. You can use your hot air 
to solder down. Let's go. Just wait until the hot uh, the, until the air has reached the right level. And after that, you can solder down. Take it as a video. You see? I tip it and it's great. It's right on the point. Okay, we are done. Just wait. Just wait a short time. Okay. Should be good. Now you can control. And can you see the bolts here? Right behind all these resistors and caps. You can see it better. It's really amazing. Ja, da steht oben nur eine, das ist eine iPhone X. Okay, now we can just do a little test. One time. We check for shorts and for the boot behavior on the DC power supply. So we got no short. And it's great. Should be fine. So we just take a socket for that because I won't do a board reball within this video now. Just want to show you that the device is working. So we take the bottom board, then we take the middle layer frame, then we take the top layer. We put on the screen connection cables. We put on a screen. We put on the screen. Come on, baby. For me, it's harder to get on the screen than doing all these reballs. And now, now, oh, ripped off. Now, just check for boot. We are at uh, 80 milliamps, so we are at the DFU mode. Um, so I will solder them board halves together and show to you that it works, that we are at the DFU. Because in this way you can't see anything. And I want that you see that it works. So just get away. Move away and just do the rebore of the bot halves. Um, which would I just 
searching one thing here. Yes, this will be there. Okay. So let's have a look. Okay, it's already cleaned up. So we can do the reboot fast. Just use our heat sink. No. So now we take some paste, get it to the stand. So we have to be fast now. But by the way, it's only 25 minutes the video now. It's okay for reborning and soldering down the CPU. I don't have here at my place. It's all all at you. Did you think I have two? Oh, okay. So now we're almost ready with getting in the paste. So we got the paste in, just clean here. Just use a clean room wipe. For clean surface. And then do the reball of the sandwich. That's hard for us. Next time I move. Just finish that now. So, and now do the reball of the board. That's better for me with a microscope. So I have to see how the boards melt. And therefore I need to be a little bit closer as I was on start. Some people don't need that. Some people can work with larger distance. I always have to be cl um, close to that what I do.
can see it works fast but you do the reball of a CPU faster that's because you don't have to move and to move and to move you can just stay at one place when you do CPU or bigger chips but on the sandwich you have to move around and that's the cause why you need more time for that when you do it with a 183 paste and without preheat just takes a little bit more time but it's really a clean way to do okay now we can lift up the stencil check if all bolts are there yes they are So now let's uh, do reflow. You can place the iPad for the screen replacement to the hot plate. I will do it. The white one. So now I have to do screen replacements too, and Andy too. That's life. Normally we don't do, but we are a small company, only three people here at the work uh, shop. And when one is at holiday, I was before, now it's David, and after that it's Andy. And it's a hard time for us then, every year. The years before we didn't any holiday. <laughs> Andy always working, working, working. Yeah, what should I say? Just wait until the bolts cool down. Don't get too fast on it for cleaning. You see it on the color. Take out the heat insulation. And then just clean, clean, clean. And after cleaning, we can solder back together. Ah, I, I could do it here too. But I would need... No, no. We do it with uh, soldering them halves together, it's the fastest way now and we don't want to lose any time. So check if everything is okay, just take one picture for Instagram. One picture for Instagram, I just need my smartphone, or it's here. It's hard as fuck for us, really. Just take some flux, put it on, take the top layer board, center it, and if you have positioned it in the right way, you can check it with your eyes, round and round, and if it's good, you can set up the preheater to 180 degrees and 
just start some video. Okay, just wait until the heat is coming. And then we can solder back together the board halves. And then we can do an update or restore like ever. I didn't I don't know what uh, what it is. We will see in a minute. Just wait until the hot air has reached the 180 degrees. Then you can start. Uh, the preheater has reached 180 degrees. Then you can start your hot air. And you can help a little bit. Wait until it gets flat. And we are done. Put off the preheater. And just wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait until the preheater cooled down. Here I set the next repair. Tweezers. Get out the board. And check under the microscope. And you can see it's all flat. Great. I do these repairs every day. Every day I do these sandwich boards. They always look like that after soldering them together. So it's okay. Looks good. Now we can check for function. I just get the screen. Go on hands. Just check the screen. Ah, we are at the we are at DFU, so we won't see anything now too. But just check if all is okay. We got no shorts. Yeah, it's okay. Now when we boot up, what we got? Should now go down because the board is hot. We should about should have about 80 milliamps. Just cool down the board. Now we are about 100 milliamps, and it goes down. We are a day of use. Eighty to ninety milliamps. We are at the view. So we can take. Housing because we have a duck flex in it, lightning flex. And we just need to check for function. Put on the components, get in the camera module and the face ID module, power button, 
things like that. Oh, there's one flex cable here. Doesn't want to go where it should. But why? Don't want to destroy anything, so just wait. I do it later. It's no problem. I just put on the screen so if we can see something. And now plug in the battery, take a USB cable. Get in, and we got a phone con uh, recognized. That's good. And now we can do that. Software unzipping on iTunes and waiting for the restore. Yeah, we are on the run. So we just have to wait now. Normally I didn't want to um, to do these things uh, with waiting for restores or updates or like ever. <sighs> but yeah, what should I say? It's always the same thing. People want to see that things work and that's, that nothing is faked so we wait so we wait and wait and wait and wait and wait Just do some stuff on Instagram here. Oh. Th something happens. That's the that's good. And Andy's doing a short on an um, Samsung Galaxy S7? S6 Edge. Did you find the shorted component? I hope. You hope. Okay, that's great. So we just have to wait and to wait and to wait and to wait. And after that, all should be fine. Then we got the next video, iPhone X CPU reball and top board swap. Yesterday we got the bottom board swap, today we got the top board swap. Not bad, I think. Just let me do some, some cleaning here. Then we can. <coughs> then we can start doing other stuff. Okay. And 
it is. I hope it goes a little bit faster now. But I think it will take some time. Okay, what's that? That's XS, like I think. Yeah. It is. I have to do later. Wanted to do now, but I do it later. Stencils. Yeah, people, I hope you enjoy the video. And the videos the last time, the, the, the English videos, I hope the German viewers uh, won't be um, böse. What's böse? Won't be angry or sad because at the moment we only got <coughs> these English videos. Why it doesn't work? Oh. Here. Okay, I just do some cleaning of my table because I want to start the next repairs. Just wait until this iPhone X has finished and then we can do some other shit here. Don't know what, but we will see. Ah, I got a, another iPhone X with problems with the proximity sensor. I will fix and after that I will fix a lot of other stuff. Yes, some CPUs. Just get them here for showing them students on practicing how to rebore this these A11. I love these A11 CPUs. A10 too. A11 also. <clears throat> go 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 we are at the last steps then we can check what up <sighs> just check the social media one more time Okay, it's done. It's really done after a long time waiting. Finish. Finish, finish, finish. And we got a working, fully working device. Great. Okay. This was the video. iPhone X. Um, button uh, top board swap um, after a short on one we eight io we changed the top board and the phone is back to life again i will now fully check the phone if all is working and then do the cleaning and do the assembling of the phone okay i'm out we will see us with the next video i'm out goodbye yours ben